the last class we discuss uh, the uh, concavity and convexity of a single variable in this class we will define uh, the co concavity and convexity uh, for the functions of n variable case in this function in this uh, in variable cases, uh, 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 so the, the definition is uh, so say a real valued function if defined on a convex subset that is u for r for n is concave if for all x y in u and for all k whose value lies between zero to one. So the convex function looks like as f f function of f f k x plus one minus k into y greater than or equal to k f x plus one minus k f y for all zero to one. Whereas convex function is just when g k x plus one minus k y less than equal to k g x plus one minus k g function of y. So a real valued function g defined on a convex set that is u of r um, is convex if for all x y in u and for all uh, k equal to 0 to k lies between 0 to 1. So in this case, uh, uh, students should not confuse the notion of a convex function with a particular convex set. Uh, a set u is a convex set if x and y are the points in u the line segment uh, that is uh, we uh, uh, said the name of the line uh, in the previous uh, class that uh, the second line uh, uh, that is the line segment joining between x and y the two points that is l function of x y identity k x plus one minus k y where the k lies between zero to one, k uh, less than equal to or, uh, or greater than equal to zero. So, uh, so, uh, uh, so, uh, so, if, so a function of uh, such as if of one n variables is concave if and only if any second line connecting two points on a graph of suppose a f lies below the graph. That means, once again, I am repeating the a function f of n variables is concave if and only if any second line connecting two points on the graph of a here we are considering graph is f small a uh, lies below the graph and similarly a function is convex if and only if any second line uh, any second line sorry any second line uh, second line is a uh, con line connecting two points on its graph lies above its graph. So in the concave case, the second line will connect uh, below the uh, below the graph and for the convex, it uh, was the second line will connect or uh, will represent above the um, above the um, uh, above the graph above its graph. The graph of concave function is now in your screen. This is your concave function. The two points, this is y and x, 
and we connect the second line. This is the second line and second line connect below the uh, graph. This is your graph. This is the concavity. And similarly, this is the convex um, convex function y equal to x squared. So a function of f of n variables is concave when the second line connecting to points in the graph of f lies below the graph. Okay, this is the below the graph. This is the point y and this is the point x. Similarly, a function of n variables is concave, the second line were connecting to points on the graph of A lies above the graph. This is the red line, which is connecting two points uh, above the uh, uh, um, above the graph. And this, uh, if we connect this point, then we will see that the second line in connecting two points on the graph above uh, of A lies above the graph. So. Uh, this is uh, the uh, geometric intuition for concave and convex function. Now we'll go, uh, suppose uh, if we have function defined on a convex subset uh, U of R capital R. So if F is concave or convex, if and only if it's restriction to every line segment in U, is concave or convex function of one variable. So now we will prove the concave function and similarly we also prove uh, the convex function. In this class we will represent how to prove the concave function. Okay. So, uh, um, uh, so in developing an intuition for concave functions of several variables that is nth variables uh, in providing theorem about their properties it is useful to notice that a function of n variables defined on a convex set u, already I discussed it, uh, u is concave if and only if its restriction to any line segment in u is concave function of one variable. This should be intuitively clear since the uh, definition of a concave function, we have already uh, defined it is a statement about its behavior. So now, um, uh, now uh, the theorem is that uh, uh, that say f is a concave function on u. Let x and b two are arbitrary points. So we have already uh, stated that this is the uh, y and x two are arbitrary points on a graph, uh, and uh, this point lies between uh, the uh, subset u of set R. And that is the G of uh, function of K, a small K and K, well, K, uh, K's value is lies between zero to one, then equal to a function of KX plus one minus KY. So, mm, uh, mm, so uh, proof of this is, uh, so concave um, we are considering. So uh, if KX plus one minus K uh, uh, is into Y equal to G function of K. So is, this will be equal to suppose we are considering here x is uh, one and y is equal to zero. Then g k into one plus one minus k into zero uh, get it then equal to k. Uh, that is uh, um, uh, that is that is that is that k is the g function of uh, uh, function of one uh, plus one minus k g function of zero. Okay, g is concave. G is a curve. G is a graph that is a concave. This is a function we are uh, assuming here. We are, you know, we are there. This is the hypothetical uh, function we are considering here that G is a concave function and the and the restriction we are imposed that is here, uh, uh, here, uh, here, and that will be called to K is a function of X. If K is a function of X plus one minus K is a function of Y. So consequently, f is a concave function. We are uh, considering here. Uh, f is a, uh, so co concave function. So uh, conversely, suppose that f is concave. We want to show that g function of k identity equal to f function of k x plus one minus k y uh, k y the restrictions of uh, f to the line containing x and y is um, concave. To do this, we now fix 
एल एंड एल टू से के लाइज बिटवीन ऑब्वियसली के लाइज बिटवीन जीरो टू वन के इज वैल्यू लाइज बिटवीन जीरो टू वन सिमिलरली जी इज अ फंक्शन ऑफ के एल वन एट प्लस वन माइनस के एल टू आइडेंटिटी इक्वल टू एफ फंक्शन ऑफ के एल वन प्लस वन माइनस के एल टू एक्स similarly this will be the uh, one minus this function okay this function one minus this function into y so by definition of g this equal to this is equal to if and this function one minus uh, l you know, suppose here uh, we are rearranging this Oh, we are rearranging this function and then we find that if k l1 x plus 1 minus l1 y plus similarly 1 minus k l2 x plus 1 minus l2 y greater than equal to k if l1 x plus 1 minus l1 y and plus 1 minus k f function of l2 x plus 1 minus l2 y this is the uh, concavity of function of f of, of graph f so equal to we get k g l1 plus 1 minus k g l2 by definition of um, g of g g is a graph already we consider g is a convex similarly we can prove convex function the goal of this uh, section is to understand uh, the goal was uh, sorry the goal was of this section was to understand the concave and convex function more deeply by working toward three concrete goals or objective the objective one to develop simple calculus based uh, test for concavity and convexity a second objective uh, is to uh, discover or is to find out the desirable properties of concave and convex function and third objective is to see how concave and convex functions arise in economic models. This is the application. So there are three basic objectives of this uh, of this um, uh, of this section uh, where we discuss the concave and convex functions more deeply in the undergraduate course. So in this case, so uh, we get or we find the the three basic objectives. That is, one is calculus-based test for concavity and convexity, or to discover the uh, and the properties that concave or convex functions have, uh, the uh, the properties we have discussed here, and to see how concave and convex functions are applied in economics. Now, what is the application in economics? Why are we doing uh, this uh, 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 this uh, in in our lessons? So this this these are three. Uh, basic objectives um, uh, in, uh, of concave and convexity analysis in our um, uh, class or in our um, in our um, analysis. So, uh, and in our discussion, we will usually work with concave function rather than convex function, since any statement about one type can easily be translated into uh, into 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 a statement about the other so if we um, this is the opposite of the uh, we are discussing here conve concave function but it its opposite is the convex function so just we analyze one the concave function students will, will should try to um, uh, formulate or try to understand or try to prove the theorem of convexity when we uh, summarize our results in the statements of the theorems we will state the results for both types of function at the end of our classes. So next class, we will uh, uh, discuss the calculus uh, criteria for concavity. So next class, we will discuss calculus criteria for concavity. And we are just describing here the concavity. You can, uh, you, you can follow or you can discuss it with the convexity also. So thank you.